I've got 50 scent shots to the right, a glass of water to the left, and a nose that's ready to go. Hey guys, it's me Drew and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, I have a 50 scent shot haul for you from none other than Candles by Victoria. Now, Candles by Victoria is one of my favorite candle companies located in a very small town in Texas that specializes in handmade candles, wax melts, etc. You can watch all of my haul videos from her and how much I adore her company. Her products are the most highly scented candles, wax melts that I've ever tried in my life. I never have a problem with her candles throwing. They are incredible and everything you order is handmade as soon as you get it, which is one of the specialties that really sets her apart from other vendors that do restocks or pre-orders. This stuff, as soon as you order it, gets poured fresh. And over Father's Day, she did a scent shot sale where these little two ounce cups of joy, which are two ounces of scented wax that you can either cut in half or sometimes in quarters. Oh my God, I can already smell the scent from here. That's how strong it is. And scent up your house for the entire day, sometimes two or three days because these are so strong. And they retail for $2. On Father's Day weekend, she was offering these for $1.75. So I knew it was time to stock up. So I picked up 50 cents. Some I've tried before. Some are brand new to me. And I'm super excited to sit down and talk to you guys about them. Now, there are 51 scent shots here because with every order from Candles by Victoria, they include a free mystery scent shot. And the one that I was sent this order is Bubblegum. Now it's kind of funny, what lottery did I win? I have gotten Bubblegum as my free scent shot for three of the six orders that I placed. Crazy. I have been gotten this scent. Been gotten this scent. I've been getting this scent each time and it is a really good scent. I never have to order it because I always have some in my stash and it smells like an authentic bubblicious bubblegum. Now, I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about every single scent because like I said, I do have 50 and I broke them down into categories. The first category is from Candleman's Closet. Now, Candleman's Closet is, all these scents are dupes for a very famous bath bomb company. We're not allowed to say the name of the company due to legal reasons. Um, that was like 10 years ago that Candles by Victoria came up with these names very similar to that company and um, got a cease and desist letter and said you need to change the names. I will tell you from working for that company for almost five years, it's my first retail job, so if you also want to know, you can figure that out. I know all of these scents like the back of my hand, and the first one is Bath Time with Poo. Bath Time with Poo, honey, it's a honey scent, and it's awesome. Every vendor that I've tried this scent from has that same rich, honey, toffee type of scent. It's so fresh, and it's a different type of fresh than like laundry or soap or powdery or citrusy. It's a clean, warm, toffee honey scent. And I think it smells clean because the original product that it is duping is a soap. So, love that. Ordered it many times in candles. It's one of my favorites. The next is Pink Bubblegum Crush. Now, if you're familiar with the company, this is not that pink fairy scent that everybody loves. It is a fluffed dupe. That's what I'll say. It's a product that's not made anymore. It was a dusting powder. It was very popular around Easter. And this is a very sweet candy like bubblegum scent. I prefer this over her regular bubblegum. I also prefer that over the product it was originally duping. The next one we have is Honey Vanilla Love Dust. Now, sometimes you'll see me pop it out of the container and smell the bottom. It's because wax actually cures from the bottom up. So with this cup, this bottom is actually gonna smell truer than it is on the top because that wax has sat and cured. Now this is very creamy vanilla with a little bit of honey, almost like a chocolate scent. 
Oh, it's really nice. It's really relaxing. This is a dupe for one of their massage bars. I'm not sure if that's still available yet. It was like an original heart-shaped massage bar with a chocolate bar. Next, we have Bunny Slope. And this, I... Ugh, it smells just like what it's supposed to. Almondy, crisp, clean, a little bit of cake, a little bit of snow. I'm trying to be, uh, as you can tell, a little bit uh, questionable. Next we have Gorillas in the Mist. And, oh, Gorillas in the Mist? I think they're in the jungle. <laughs> and I have soft hair after. And that's what it smells like. It's like kumquats, which is super an exotic fruit. But there's kumquat. There's a very fresh green note. A little bit of spearmint, which really awakens your senses. Another really great bathroom scent that's not typically a bathroom scent. Next we have Emperor's Love, which is something that is really hard to describe. Now, sometimes this one I haven't pre-smelled before. Sometimes they're a little hard to get out of the cup, so you just really got to even pressure, and then you actually start to see the wax separate from the plastic, and then boom, popped right out. Ugh. And the colors, like this dark blackberry scent, a little bit nutty, a little bit soapy. It's hard to describe these scents to a T because they are dupes from that company, but it is a very blackberry, nutty soap type of smell. Then we have Bit of the Bubbly, and this one, it's really champagne-y. It has a very fizzy scent and a very strong, like, Satsuma orange. So, if you like citrusy, champagne-y scents, this one's nice. It's a very deep citrus. Then we have Goldilocks. Now, Goldilocks, oh, it's so nice. It's very porridge-y because Goldilocks had porridge. Mmm, like oatmeal, porridge-y, really rich and creamy. I know this is like a, a weird, I only have five left. Rock That Vanilla, if you're familiar with that company and you're familiar with their strawberries and cream conditioner, this smells exactly like it. I actually still have, when that company used to make perfumes in their kitchen, I have a little perfume of that and I wear it all the time. What goes around comes around. Everybody knows what that is and this smells just like it. And Etta, if you're watching this, this is patchouli, dragon's blood, and orange. And it could not be more hippie that you could love. I'm not saying you're a hippie, but it smells very hippie-like and I love that scent. Next we have Heavy Metal. This is also a bit sweet, almost like Heavy Metal Rock Stars, if you're familiar with that soap. Oh, that smells so good. It's more like candy floss. If you're familiar with the term candy floss, that's more like a, um, it's more like a uh, really like cavity candy. And then we have Sweet Angel Dust, which, I'm just saying it, it's a dupe for Snow Fairy. I'm not saying who Snow Fairy is, but it's a dupe for Snow Fairy. That really sweet candy, oh, it's so good. I do love that product in the, at Christmas. I do love that product, even though I don't like What did I say? I didn't say that. I cut that part out of the video. Oops. Finger Lickin' Good is the last one from that company. And I don't like the product. I don't like the way that that product smells. And I do not like this. It's not very yummy. It's not very yummy. I repeat, it's not very yummy. I said yummy three times. You can figure that out. All right. Next, we're going to move on to Fruity Scents, where I can actually really talk super in-depth about the fragrances. And the first one is Cantaloupe. If you like a cantaloupe scent, a fresh, rich, and sorry if I'm looking at my phone, I'm making sure I don't go over on time. Cantaloupe is 
smells just like you went to the farmer's market and you got a fresh cantaloupe. No more, no less, really rich, juicy cantaloupe. When you cut that rind and it's like juicing on the cutting board, it's exactly what that smells like. Wood nymph. Now, wood nymphs are thinking, why is that in the fruity category? Well, I put it in the fruity category because to me, it smells exactly like lime Skittles. Like zesty, bright lime, candy coating Skittles. I know that's crazy. Wood nymph, you would think it's really woodsy, really earthy, but no, it smells just like, just like that. Papaya water lily. Now, papaya water lily is fruity from that papaya, but the water lily almost turns this into like a body care type of scent. Like, I feel like this is something you would smell at Bath and Body Works, like a papaya lotion. It's really fruity, really rich, but it does have that like fruity, like fresh, clean body care type of scent. I would totally put that all over my body. Next is Birds of Paradise. Now, if I'm mistaken, I believe Birds of Paradise is like a strawberries and cream type of scent. And it does, it smells like strawberries and cream, but very cream, like very creamy and like the tiniest bit of strawberry, almost verging on strawberry yogurt instead of like strawberry sauce or fresh strawberries because it's so creamy, it's almost like a milky strawberry. I'm excited to pop that in the warmer to see what it smells like. Pink and Lime, one of Deb's favorite scents. I love Deb. And this is a blend of pink sugar and lime, which you would think, hmm, that's interesting. It works. It's so pink sugary, so zesty, bright lime with that perfumey pink sugar. Oh, I want to mix that with stuff like a vanilla cupcake scent. Totally. I do have two Christmassy scents here. I wanted to try them. The first one is Rocky Mountain Christmas, which is the leaves type scent from Bath and Body Works and Sugared Spruce. And that's, uh, leaves type is like apple cider, like fresh mauled apple cider that you get at like a farmer's market. Like you can't get any fresher than that. It's so creamy. Uh, it's so, so so good. Mixed with sugar and spruce. So you would never think like, it's literally mixing a fall scent with a winter scent together. Perfection. The other Christmas scent is Eskimo Kisses. And Eskimo Kisses is a vanilla bean Noel and spearmint. Another one created by Miss Deb, who I adore. And she says in her videos exactly as I do. It smells like the powdered coating on spearmint gum. Never would think mixing Vanilla Bean Noel with Spearmint would be this amazing scent, but it is. I need this Victoria in a Woodwick. That's the next order. I'm ordering that in a Woodwick. I think that scent at Christmas time, lighting with that crackling sound of a Woodwick, amazing. Leather. You cannot get more fresh than leather. And this smells like old leather. It doesn't smell like new leather, like a furniture store. It smells like you went to a saddle shop. And there's belts, there's um, horse seats, saddles, oh my god, and things like that. Like, sh no shoes, no clean shoes, like, very old, weathered leather. I have a couple leather scents here still. Uh, here we go. Leather and lace, which I believe is, like, a more feminine uh, leather scent. Let's see, just pop it right out. Yeah, it's like a like a creamy sandalwoody, which is interesting because the next one's sandalwood and leather. But it's not sandalwoody. Maybe vanilla leather? Maybe that's it. I actually think leather and lace is um, leather mixed with vanilla lace type from Victoria's Secret. So it would make sense. Sandalwood and leather. And I know I'm going pretty fast. I have so many of these guys. Now, sandalwood and leather. Now, sometimes, like I said, they're a little bit challenging to get out of the cup, but once you do, oh wow. Yeah, this is definitely more woodsy mixed with that fresh leather. Definitely. The leather in here is more new. 
And I think it's because sandalwood is in a lot of like perfumes. So you're getting like that new department store uh, shoe aisle type of scent. It's really good though. All right, next we have Vanilla Cedar. Now I do have her Cedarwood scent on its own, which is like way overpowering. So I'm definitely gonna have to burn that with like a vanilla scent. But this, the vanilla really brings out what I like about the Cedarwood scent and what I don't like about the Cedarwood scent. It's actually just called Cedar, but it's Cedarwood. Huh, it's really, really nice. I almost feel like this would be nice on like a date night if you, you know, bring somebody home and you want the house to smell more masculine but not like cologne. Then we have Gain Island Fresh. It smells exactly as you would think. It smells like Gain. Like Gain laundry detergent. Straight up Gain. Not a bad scent, just straight up Gain. Leaves type. I was just talking about this. It smells like the best homemade apple cider that you get from the farmer's market. I had this burning in here the other day. And that scent is just... Everybody who makes leaves, nobody makes it like Bath & Body Works. Bella Swan. I don't remember exactly what the scent description is on this. It's floral but it's a sweet floral. Almost like violet? Is there violet in here? Or like, I almost smell like a mango scent or like a papaya, like one of those fruits, like an orange, more deep fruit, warm fruit, and like a really fresh floral. It's a really pretty purple that matches my hair. And Bella Swan is from Twilight, if you didn't know. Then we have Shamrock Kiss, which I was really excited about. Another guy on YouTube, Jason, he doesn't make videos anymore either, um, loves this scent. It's like very Irish springy green soap, but it's not masculine in any, in any way. I mean, a guy could burn this in his house, obviously. A guy can burn anything in his house, but for me, it's like a very green soap scent. I am getting right through these. Why I Autumn. Now, Why I Autumn is... Okay, I smell like a cinnamon and like a little bit of pumpkin. Like a pumpkin cinnamon scent, but more heavy on the cinnamon. Kind of like sweet cinnamon pumpkin a little bit from Bath & Body Works, but it has like a touch of apple in there too. That's the other note. White Ginger, which is a dupe for the Paul Mitchell Awafui, or Awapui shampoo. And it smells just like it. I used to use that all the time. I also used a, um, that green, it wasn't green, it was a clear gel, but it came with like a green cap. It was like a serum, an oil serum. Oh, that smells good. That's also a really fresh one that you could melt anywhere. Bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, living room. Super fresh and clean. Santal. Now, Victoria was so excited for me to try this one, to add it to her line. I told her I really am looking for a Palo Santo scent. She doesn't have Palo Santo yet, but Victoria, please experiment with some Palo Santo. But she did say, this is a dupe for my favorite perfume from Le Labo, Santal 33. So I was really excited to smell it. It's not the same. Now, I wear that perfume almost every day. That perfume is way more, like it's in here, but it feels like this is a blend of that scent with other things. Yeah, maybe when I melt it, I'll get more of the Santal 33 scent, but Santal 33 is more fresh, more like true, clean, fresh sandalwood. Come on, timer. Next, we have Soul Sisters, which I actually talked about before because I have this in a candle, which is a blend of best for, or um, Birds of Paradise, right? Or Love Birds. No, best Friends and Love Birds. No. Sexy and Stilettos and Best Friends. That's it. Sexy and Stilettos and Best Friends. 
And to me, this is a very creamy strawberry scent again. But you pick up on the love spell, which I love. I love the scent of love spell. It's like a very berry perfume. Delish. Then we have Black Velvet, which I ordered only because of the name. I thought that was really interesting, really like conceptual. And this is a really dark purple color. It kind of has a Nog Champa type of scent. Like a Nog Champa and, but almost, it's more fresh than that. So almost like Nog Champa sandalwood and like, Nog Champa and sandalwood is what I'm picking up out of this. It's good. It definitely gives me Renaissance Festival type of vibes. And then, the last one before I get into my favorite category, the bakery scents, we have Melcy, which is a blend of her two, her two daughters, Melissa and Chelsea. They were both told to pick out a scent, and Chelsea picked out Blushing Peaches, and Melissa picked out Me Tarzan You Jane, which is a Bath and Body Works dupe for brown sugar and fig. And this is so nice. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of uh, Me, Tarzan, You Jane on its own. I'm not a fan of Black um, Brown Sugar and Fig on its own either. But mixed with that strawberry peachy type of scent, makes it really, really, really nice. To me, Blushing Peaches is such a good scent because it is that really fresh peach. And the strawberry is also very like a fresh picked strawberry and a fresh picked peach mixed together. I feel like the strawberry enhances the peach, the peach enhances the strawberry. So together they're really powerful. And Me Tarzan You Jane is more brown sugar, fig. Those are much more subtle, much more blender scents. So they almost tone down the blushing peaches and make it a little bit more of a mellowed down version, which I'm not complaining because I love it too. Now, we went through a whole ton, and now I have 4, 8, 12, 16 scent shots left to go. I'm going to take a sip of water, take a little breather, and continue this scent journey. By now, you know that bakery scents are by far my favorite scents, so let's get into that. The first one I have is a banana pancake. I did order two banana scents because I just I couldn't help myself. And this smells just like you went to IHOP and you got an order of pancakes with bananas on top. Fresh sliced bananas. This does not smell artificial to me. It smells like real sliced bananas on great pancakes. And that's a Sunday morning smell for me. Banana walnut. So we have that banana scent again with the warm nuttiness of the walnut. Now, it's not like caramelized pralines. It's not like, I got wax on my nose. It's not like, it's not like nutty, like uh, peanuts or pecans. It's definitely more of a fresh nut, like a fresh roasted nut, but, oh, it's so good mixed with that banana. Yum. Pecan pie, uh, I love to eat pecan pie, not knowing that it's 500 calories a slice, basically. And I don't 100% say it smells exactly like pecan pie. To me, pecan pie is more buttery, which is interesting because typically Victoria does really well with buttery scents. And not that this isn't well done. I just feel like it could be more buttery. I need to order her butter brickle scent again. I really like that maybe in her cube melts and mix them with other scents to make them even more buttery and delicious. Then we have applesauce spice cake. I didn't realize this was actually a thing that you can make spice cake with applesauce. I guess it makes sense. It makes it gluten-free, right? This is very cinnamony. Like, very cinnamony, and it's a cinnamon I'm not a fan of. It's almost like that red-hot cinnamon stick. There's, like, no bakery to this. This is way more, like a true apple cinnamon. I definitely want to mix that with something more more creamy, maybe Granny's Pie Crust. That'd be good. Next we have Carrot Cake Orange Delight. Now this is interesting because I've never really eaten a carrot cake with oranges before. Oh my gosh, is this good. The oranges in here, it's like fresh squeezed orange juice, which if you like orange scents, Victoria's Fresh Squeezed Orange, oh my god, it's awesome. But yeah, that mixed with 
a more, like, I, I, I don't necessarily smell carrot cake. I smell more like just a vanilla cake. Like a freshly squeezed orange vanilla cake. Maybe the carrot cake will come out more when it's burning, but I don't know. I really like it. I really like that. It, to me, is though more of like a vanilla cake with orange. Chocolate orange. Now, this one really intrigued me because chocolate scents are either hit or miss for me. And this is a hit. It smells just like those chocolate-covered orange slices that sound really crazy until you eat one and then you just can't get enough of them. It smells just like those. Like, you want more every time you smell this scent. It's so rich and juicy orange with deep milk chocolate. Raspberry Coconut Muffin. This one was talked about a lot on the videos. I definitely needed to check it out. Love the color. And yes, this smells like, if you remember those zingers from Hostesses, they were like a ras they were like a vanilla cake with a raspberry coating on it. Not like crunchy coating, like a cakey coating. And then it had rolled in shredded coconut. It's exactly what this smells like. Takes me right back to childhood when I was a little boy going to, because we actually had a Hostess store here in Pittsburgh. And I used to go all the time and get raspberry zingers. Next, we have banana brown sugar drizzle. I mean, delicious, right? And yes, delicious. This, the banana is definitely not the predominant note in this. It's definitely the brown sugar, but, which I'm curious to try her Bananas Foster scent because Bananas Foster's rum, bananas, and brown sugar, where this is just bananas and brown sugar, but it does give me very much Bananas Foster vibes. Next we have Captain Crunch Berries, which is... Always fun when motorcycles drive by. It's every video. Oh, and this smells just like Captain Crunch Berries. She does have a cupcake cutie, which is like a cupcake jar in this scent. And I was debating on ordering it. I wanted to get it in a scent shop first to see if I liked it. Yeah, I need that in a big candle. It smells just like, like fresh Captain Crunch Berries, which, I mean, I know they're not fresh because they're powdered in a, in a container, but it smells really good. Then we have peanut butter and jelly. I remember Deb saying this is like her happy scent, so I was really excited to try it. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I smell peanut butter, but the grape jelly comes off more cough medicine grape than I was hoping for. So I need to try peanut butter and strawberry jam because I like strawberry jelly a lot more, her strawberry jam scent a lot more, but it almost gives me like a cough medicine vibe. Some people love that kind of grape. I, on the other hand, not so much. Cinnamon Raisin Bread, another one of Deb's all-time favorite scents, and I talk about Deb all the time because I adore Deb, and binge watch all 150 of her videos all the time. This smells just like Cinnamon Raisin Bread. I get Cinnamon Raisin Bread from the store all the time, and late night snack, put it in the toaster and put fresh butter on it, and when it melts into that bread, it's so heavenly. Nothing like eating carbs that late at night, right? Oh well. There is nothing wrong with carbs. It smells just like cinnamon nut bread, or cinnamon raisin bread. Love that. Next, whew, scrumptious scoops. This is supposed to resemble a banana split. So, ice cream, bananas, pineapple, cherry, marshmallow, like, I don't care for this at all. I'm sorry, Victoria. Mm-mm. Like, I don't know what I smell, but what it is mixed together, I do not like. But I am going to cut it in half, pop it in the warmer, and see what magic comes out of it. Hopefully I end up loving it. Jelly Donut is one I love. This is like strawberry jam in a really, really yeasty donut without coming across as, like, gross yeast. Oh my god, is this amazing. I already have this in my order plot for um, a big old candle in this because I love that. I love 
the strawberry jam scent that almost comes across salty because it is so juicy. It almost like makes you want to lick the air. It smells so good. Now, these next three, I just have to talk about. The amount of juice. Now, it's, it's oil. Don't get me wrong. But these, <laughs> when I say Victoria's scents are strong, look, can you see this? Do you see how oily, like, I could literally pour oil out of this cup onto this scent shot. It is so oily. I cannot wait to pop these in my warmer. I'm actually going to probably pop one of these in my warmer tonight. It's so freaking juicy. And this is graham cracker crust. Now, to me, graham cracker crust, I thought it would be less cinnamony than it is. I get cinnamon in here, cinnamon and sugar, and it's a more like, not like baked cinnamon sugar, it's more like straight from the jar cinnamon sugar. Like, if you smell it, you kind of sneeze. It's not a bad scent, but it's really good. I, I want to pop that in my warmer. Next, we have Bear Claws, and again, this one's not as drippy in oil, but it's still, it, you can see that. It's oily. And this smells just like a bear claw. We have a restaurant here, Eaton Park. It's like a little diner. And I used to, late at night, order, like after working a long shift, order a bear claw, warm in the microwave, comes out and put butter on it. it smells just like that. Nutty, cinnamony, sugary, with a little bit of butter. Oh, to die for. And then last but not least, waffle cone. I got through 40 or 51 scent shots. Look at this oil you guys it is so rich so drippy and it smells like a real waffle cone like you go into an old-fashioned ice cream shop and they're hand making oh my god I'm like so oily I could use it as perfume I'm like so fresh and buttery that you can almost taste it before you even take a bite when you walk into the ice cream shop heaven so I just talked about 51 cent shots I am so excited to start melting these. Again, Victoria, if you're watching this, I hope you had an amazing vacation and getting your butt into gear to make all those orders that were placed from people watching my last video, people watching this video, sharing the CBV love with everybody. If you have not watched my other videos, definitely take a look at my channel. If you have not ordered from Candles by Victoria, you need to. Be prepared to wait a little while. They are handmade in Texas by her, her, um... Her beautiful, beautiful daughter, Chelsea, and her husband, Wade, as well as Candleman, Victoria's man, Matt. Shout out to everybody there in Texas. Definitely check her out. I'll leave her Facebook link down below. Join her group. It's a great group of people. No drama, which is what I love compared to some of the other groups. And I hope you guys have a great night. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell so that you are alerted every time I upload in this little box. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.